will be back so yesterday uh, in the previous video uh, in the previous video we looked at the introduction to javascript and we looked at a number of things uh, right away from what is javascript applications of javascript some of the usage cases we looked at variables we looked at um, naming rules and conventions went ahead and looked at um, data types uh, some sort of introduction to data types and we looked at strings numbers booleans now and find and we looked at some how you can even check the data present in a variable we also talked um, briefly about objects and in today's video we are going to look at uh, javascript operators okay so javascript operators um, these uh, there are a number of them and these operators allow us to perform various operations on values some of the most common operators so we have basically uh, four operators okay so the first ones are assignment operator and we have already seen uh, about the assignment operator and the assignment operator is the equal sign so the equal sign we have already used it to assign a value to a variable so for instance if you select x equal to 5 that equals is what you call an assignment operator and its purpose is to assign a value to a variable so as you can see x right now is equal to 5 because uh, of this assignment operator and we will not take much time about the assignment operator because we have already used it so the second group of operators are arithmetic operators and these ones are the usual ones that we normally do we used to do in math so these ones they are used to perform basic arithmetic operators uh, operations um, we will see uh, the comprehensive ones in future videos when you are talking about the math object uh, where we can do the square root and more complex ones but for now we can do basic operations for instance addition subtraction division modulus and exponent uh, using these basic uh, operators okay so we also look at comparison operators these ones we have also been using them in the math greater than less than uh, not equal and many others we are going to look at how we can use them to do some simple uh, operations and others are logical operators these ones they normally help us to make decisions and you can use they are used on logical operations uh, on boolean values okay so let's dive in um, and see some of the examples and how we can handle JavaScript operators. So I'm just going to open uh, my project. So the other day we created this folder. So I'm just going to create uh, a new folder. I'm just going to create it into uh, to JS. So this is going to be lesson two okay so i'm just right clicking and opening this in vs code Okay, so my folder is open in VS Code right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a number of files. And the first one I'm just going to create um, is going to be index. So click on this new file here and say index.html. OK. 
okay and as usual it takes some time because the first time i normally load my uh, vs code because of some more extensions sometimes it takes actually more time i'm sorry about that um, just bear with me okay uh, uh, good it has created index dot uh, html so let's go ahead and create another one style dot css so if you are still confused about uh, scss please watch uh, watch the video about introduction to sas i have that video on the youtube channel please check uh, check it up i may be going to link uh, the video in the description but you should be able to see in um, in the playlist for HTML CSS or just find that video about introduction to uh, SAS so that you can get to speed to where we are. So right now I'm creating the SAS file and I'm just going to also go ahead and create my JavaScript file. I'm just going to create app.js okay so yeah so right now i have my three files okay have index for the markup styles for styling and app for the brain of the website and here i'm just going to uh, bring up the markup so I'm just going to bring up the markup right now okay so my markup is here and today is going to be intro. Let's uh, say uh, introduction uh, to JS. This is our lesson two. Okay. And so let's link up with our CSS. So I'm just going to go to style. First, write some basic styles, uh, simple ones. So for instance. Uh, global styles where I set my margin to zero padding to zero and box sizing to border box okay that is we normally call this one a browser reset and I can put it on top here a browser reset and yep so I can right now generate uh, using uh, live live sas which uh not seeing my extension yet loaded okay just uh, can give it a minute meanwhile so in here i'm just going to put h1 which says introduction to js so today we are going to look at uh, can put h2 which says uh, comparison uh, not comparison but uh, operators operators okay great so uh, let's link our CSS so here I'll link CSS and then after I'm just going to link I'm just going to link here down link JavaScript so for JavaScript we say script and we pass two attributes the first one is source where we say app.js and another attribute is a default keyword to mean that load this script when you have already passed the HTML I will repeat you must indicate this keyword defer <coughs> that sets the data to the browser that the script is meant to be executed when the document has been passed okay so we can run our watch sas and it's going to generate our css i'm just going to put here css like so and so let me just style up uh, my headings a bit so you can just say for h1 okay so let's say font size let's say to rem 
back Ferreira and this play I'm just going to give it inline block and let me just give it the background color black and let's give it some padding so on top and bottom one rem on the side is the rare rem and let me go ahead and also give it some margin uh, okay so margin of one rem top and bottom and zero on the sides Okay, so basically that's it, and let me just enter it uh, from the body, so go to the body and say this prefix, uh, align items center, justify content center, and a height of 100, the view height, and since there are two headings, we can say flex direction color okay so okay so let me just go to live server you can right click this and you say open with live server and uh, meanwhile let me also open our javascript file as we're waiting it to start up okay finally is up and uh, i forgot to change the color to white okay so in fact i can just say color white yeah white okay good um, so uh, i'm just going to go to our javascript uh, so far now we don't have anything i guess uh, but we can just go ahead and do something so we can just set so that it is working we can just say console log and you can just say it's working so it's working and we can check in the console if it is there and you can see it here it's working okay great so we have successfully connected our HTML to our SAS and we have also successfully connected our HTML to our JavaScript. Always first test that if everything is working perfectly the way you want. Test your SAS, test your JavaScript and confirm everything is okay. So in today's lecture we are looking at... So uh, let me just do a multi-line comment uh, so uh, this is how we do a multi-line comment okay so in here I'm just going to say we are going to look at uh, operations or operators operators okay and the first one we said we have assignment operator isn't it so the first one is assignment operator and so let's just use this and we define some of uh, some of the uh, variables so for instance i'm just going to say const uh, age is equal to 30 okay uh, const uh, first name so let me just uh, say first name is equal to this is my first name to those who don't know it and say const last name and my last name is actually John Baptist okay and we can just go ahead for instance uh, we put others uh, could just say const is married okay and we set this to force okay and we can also say for instance const job okay const uh, maybe uh, job 
and you can just say for instance is Okay, so these all these equal signs here. One equal sign I want you to take a note because you are going to use uh, some other equals or some other uh, equal signs which are double. So if it is only one equal sign like this, so this one means assignment. It means you are putting 30 into edge. So my edge becomes 30, first name becomes this, last name becomes this. So here, this is what we call assignment. And with that, that's what we talk uh, we call about assignment operators. Okay, so uh, the second one we are going to look at uh, are arithmetic, arithmetic operators. So arithmetic operators, there are so many, okay? But I just look at uh, some of them. So I'm just going to create others, uh, some other variables. So for instance, x is equal to 40, and const y is equal to maybe uh, 30. Doesn't matter. So now let's just do some simple arithmetic. So for instance, we could say console uh, dot log. Okay. For instance, we could do x plus y. Okay. So if I say for instance x plus y, this is addition. Okay. So we use a plus operator to do addition. So you can do your addition using x plus y. So if we go back to the browser, right now it is says 70. So it is 30 plus. 40 which is 70 so we can do subtraction like x minus y and this is going to give us 10 okay we can do division division is a slash and it can give us one point something like three, 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 three. and we can also do a multiplication which is a star okay so a star means multiplication. So you can do this and you can see it is 1200. Okay, so the most ones I want to concentrate on, the first one is going to be uh, power, okay? Or exponent, in fact, let me just use here, exponent, exponential. And this one is something like we use star star okay so for instance if i say star star uh, two this uh, literally means uh, x square this one means x uh, let me show you this one is means this and this is same as x times x okay this means this okay it means x times x so x squared means x times x so if we do console.log x squared we should see something like 1600 because that is 40 so 4 times 4 is 16 the other zero 1600 so we could also do y squared which is something like 900 okay yeah, great. So this uh, exponential take uh, note, if you have one star, it is times or it is multiplication. But when you have double star, it is uh, uh, exponential or this is power to two. So this is like y power two. So for instance, if we say three or four power two, you said this is 16. If we say it's, uh, 2 power 2, this is 4. So you can go ahead and say, for instance, uh, 2 power 3, which is 8. You can go ahead and say, for instance, 4 power 3, which is something like uh, 64. So great. So this one uh, is exponential. Okay, I'm just going to leave this example for exponential there. So let's look at another one. Uh, console.log and let's look at um, 
So another example is that is tricky is modulus. Okay? Modulus. So modulus, we write this one, we write this by using a slash. So the, uh, not a slash, but the percent. Okay? So the percent sign. So the percent sign in yeah it means uh, modulus. So for instance, if we say is uh, twenty modulus uh, ten, okay. So let's first look in the console. It gives zero. So what he, this logically means it is saying uh, what is the reminder? What is the reminder? Okay, of dividing 20 to 10, of dividing uh, 20 to 10. Okay, this is what it means. So what, do you, what is the reminder of dividing 20 to 10? So if you divide 20 to 10, it is 2, remainder 0. Okay, so just go ahead and see, for instance, if I had 3, uh, 9, dividing to, to 3. So what is the remainder of dividing 9 to 3? It is 0. Okay? Now, this is the one which is more tricky. So if it was 10, so what is the remainder of dividing 10 to 3? So it will divide 3 times, but then it has a remainder of 1. Okay? Now, uh, let's see the tricky one. So if we had 3 dividing uh, 10, okay? So what is, the what is the remainder of dividing 3 to 10? So normally this one, people will ask you of what the answer normally is, but uh, 3 cannot divide 10 under normal circumstances. It is something to give us a certain 0 point something something. So what this will mean is that it divides 0 times into 10 but it will have a remainder of 3 so you will be surprised if the remainder is 3 and this is same as for instance if we said y to x okay so if i said what is the remainder of dividing y to x so if we get 30 and we are dividing it to x which is 40 30 does not go any times in 40 so that means it cannot divide it any times so it means it is zero remainder 30, okay? You can see it gives us remainder 30. So this logic is going to help us so much uh, somewhere when you're doing our calculations. For instance, if you wanted to know what are the even numbers or odd numbers, so even numbers has a remainder, uh, even numbers has a remainder of zero, uh, while odd numbers have a remainder of something, okay? So that is great. Uh, let's move on so and that actually makes uh, the end of our arithmetic uh, operators so in others they are so easy the most ones that I find challenging are these two exponential and modulus so if you still need more explanation about exponential or modulus you can actually uh, leave a comment in the description and I can uh, come later to to give more hint okay so thank you so much uh, let's move on to the next uh, uh, operator and by the way those who have not subscribed please uh, subscribe so that we can continue making uh, effortlessly these videos okay uh, yeah thank you so much let's just uh, move on to the next one so the next one, uh, the third one is going to be uh, comparison operators. So the third one we have are uh, comparison operators. And let me make sure I'm not jumping any. Yeah. So the third one is comparison operators. So comparison operators, basically, you are doing comparison. Okay. So for instance, let's just uh, compare. And for instance, if we say it, uh, so let me just put here comparison comparison operators 
So if we are doing comparison, we still have our X and Y, by the way. We still have our X and Y. Um, I'm, just go, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, so console, uh, comment these ones out so that they don't uh, clutter our console. So we still have our X and Y. So for instance, we could ask ourselves console.log. Okay, so write console.log. And if I need to ask, for instance, X greater than Y, okay so for instance you are asking yourself that x is greater than y so it could tell us that this is true or false so comparison is the what it returns it returns a true or false so you're trying to compare two values so you have the this value and you have this value so you're trying to come up with a comparison and saying uh, for instance x is greater than y so this one will give us is it true or false so if we look at for instance x x is 40 uh, y is 30 so x uh, is greater than y so it is true so if we check in the in the browser you can see we have true okay so if we said for instance x is greater or equal to y it still gives us true okay if you say greater or equal, this C, when you put this equal sign is on in front, it means greater or equal. So we could also look at, for instance, less than, that is x less than y. So if we check this, it is also, uh, it is false, okay? x is not less than y. So if you say x is less than y, it will tell you it is false, okay? Um, uh, we can also do less or equal You can see it is still false. So X is not so if we check on X X is 40 So if you are comparing if X is less than Y it will return false. It is not less than Y Okay, so great uh, Now we could also do equal now you need to take care here. We have two equal signs here. We are saying we are not assigning y to x we are saying is x equal to y okay so if you say is x equal to y we use double equal signs and if you check in the browser it will tell you it is false y uh, x is not equal to y and that's why it is returning false okay the interesting one the operator you normally find interesting one i'm mean, just going to write this one down in fact, this one is not, is called a not operator. So this one is a logical one. Uh, not operator. Uh, so this one basically it inverts. It inverts the logic. Okay. So for instance, um, if you say it. Uh, x is not equal to y so this is asking that is saying x is not so this this operator here i mean i just say by the way put these equal signs here so this operator here means x is not equal to y okay so you say x is not equal because this one is a not a not uh, not equal operator so not equal operator so you are we are asking here for instance that x is not equal to y this is true so if you check it will give us true so it is asking in the inverse way okay so you're saying x is not equal to y and this is true okay so great and uh, so those are actually logical operators let me confirm if we have moved in all of them we have moved to all actually all of them okay and we are going to find these ones very very important more especially when we are making uh, decisions okay so so for instance you can make a simple decision maybe you want to know if you can add x or subtract x okay so for instance uh, let's just do some example that is somehow advanced 
so for instance we could say if I know we haven't seen if but we could just try uh, to see uh, an example so we could say if X is greater than Y okay so if this is true okay if X greater than Y returns true or, or if this is true okay so what do we want here so we could say for instance console.log okay x minus y so we subtract the, the one that is big okay so we do x minus y okay and then we could go ahead and say else so what is else doing so else is saying if this condition is false so if this is not true then do this so we could do console.log y minus x so in this case of course if x is not written y automatically it will mean that y is written x so what do you think is going to be on the console because our x so far is 40 and y is 30 and this condition is true so x is 40 which is greater than y which is 30 and that means we won't have x minus y so if we check on the console we have 10 which is 40 minus 30 okay great so you can see by the way this one is what we call an if statement okay you can see we are moving on where we are going to talk more about the if statement but so far i wanted to bring it in to make sure that you understand that we are going to be using this in the future uh, doing comparisons okay we could also go ahead and say uh, do more examples but we'd uh, see them as we are moving on okay great so let's uh, move on to logical operators so the last one we have under operations is uh, number four which is actually logical operators so what are logical operators so these logical operators are done on the booleans and the booleans we mean uh, these ones we have been doing you have seen these ones they return true or false okay they return true or false okay so uh, so let's uh, put here a comment and we say the logical operators okay so on the logical operators so for instance we we could have uh, for instance uh, two figures okay so when you have uh, for instance x greater than y they just start simply in simple terms and I'm just going to have here uh, let me just have here some other const so const is often uh, normally just like using uh, examples for instance this you can set it to const is is a graduate is graduate we could also set this maybe to false okay const is a ugandan is ugandan could you set this to true okay so now you can see here at least we have um operations which are or uh, 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 we have variables which are true or false for instance, he is here an orphan, so we, we create uh, this variable called is orphan, and we set it to true. And we have another one called is graduate, we set it maybe to false, and is Ugandan, we set it to true. Okay, so now we can go ahead, okay, we can go ahead and start comparing, because the logical operators, they are also actually trying to see uh, some scenarios we use them to 
do some operations on Boolean values, okay? And this is why we have read them to be Booleans. So for instance, we might want someone who is an orphan, okay? So if we wanted someone, let me just write a comment. So we want, we want uh, an orphan, we want someone who is an orphan, we want someone who is an orphan. Good morning. Good morning. So we want someone who is an orphan, okay, and graduate, okay? So we'd want someone like this one. So how do we do uh, an allergic operation to screen this person, for instance, okay? How do we uh, get this person? So we could have ask, asking using this data we have here, so if someone is uh, an orphan in the undergraduate, so just do a, a simple console.log here, okay? Just do a simple console.log. So simple uh, console.log, for instance, is orphan, okay? Is orphan and, and is graduate. So we would write something like this. Now, this is what we call an AND operator. So the AND operator, you can see the scenario we want to do uh, this operation, is when you have two conditions that must be true. So I'm just put a comment here for the AND operator. And this one is the and let me just put in a bracket and operator so for the and operator all conditions must be true all conditions must be true so if someone says uh, bring me uh, bring me a cup and water is not giving you an option all two things you must do then so even the and operator and in your life that's how it works is often and is graduate means that we want someone who is fulfilling both these two conditions so for instance is often is true but is graduate is false so this is going to return false okay let's first uh, let me first Take off these console.logs so they don't clutter our console so that we can see very well actually our console. So for instance, we are saying is often it is it is true and is graduate is false. So if you have true false, it becomes false on the and scenario. So you can see it returns false. Why is it returning false? Here we return a logical operation after we have compared these two if is often and it means that this one must be also true if it is false then it will return false okay on the other side if you wanted someone to have one of the two we could use uh, what we call the or operator okay so those who are wondering how to get this by the way ampersand this sign here this and the it is called ampersand so ampersand is found on button 7 to some of the most computers shift button 7 uh, then you do it two times and then this or or this double pipe we normally call it pipe so if you are looking for how, where to get this double pipe on your keyboard it is shift and then you look for why you have the forward uh, the forward slash or is it the forward or the backward slash i think it's the backward slash that button that is having a one slash that is straight okay so try to uh, find a way you can get this one and there are two of them there is no space 
in between. Okay, so this O means that is often O is graduate. So one of them, if one of them is true, then we will return true. If one of them is true, we will return true. And if you check, I can uh, put this one off and we check it. <laughs> you can see it is true so here is only checking for one condition to be true and it will return true but for the first one and everything must be true for it to return true okay so i'm um, hoping you guys you are catching up and the last one actually uh, the last one is uh, of course the not also uh, not so you just say console.log uh, excuse me uh, console.log let's just say not is married or is graduate okay so this is a very interesting one okay so this sign here is called not so for instance console.log not graduate so what we did so if you hover here, you see graduate is false. So if we say not graduate is going to invert it to true, what does it mean? Let me first also uh, remove this one and we remain with this not. So not normally confuses people. But what it basically does, if the condition was returning false, it will make it true. It simply inverts it back to the negative situation. So if it was true, it becomes false. If it was false, it will become true. Because we are looking at the negative part of it. Not is graduate. So if graduate was originally false, it will make it true. If we say is Ugandan, for instance, and we know is Ugandan is true, but here we are looking at not is Ugandan. So this one is going to return false okay because it inverts the value it has here okay so um hoping that at least you have understood these uh, three uh, logical operators we are going to still use them in many uh, ways okay we are going to use them in many ways uh, for instance we can build a simple application by the way up to this point we have a lot of information and we can do a lot of things so for instance we can just use this data we have here and we do some things so for instance let's say we are giving uh we are giving uh orphans who are ugandans we are giving them uh, a 50 percent discount on school fees okay so you can find this scenario whereby they are using data to give um, uh, for instance a discount and they have these people's data in the database and you find for instance someone is an orphan and if he's a ugandan and is an orphan give this person uh, a 50 percent discount on school fees so we'd write some logic like so remember the question they can give you a criteria which says if someone if someone is an orphan and is a Ugandan okay this is very common in some schools and is a Ugandan uh, give them uh, give them 50% uh, discount on fees okay uh, let me use a mad line comments to so that we can be reading it. Uh, let me give uh, a mad line comment here. Star slash. So, want to do this logic? If someone is an orphan and is a Ugandan, give them fifty percent discount. So we do, for instance, if okay, we would say if. Well, is orphan and is Ugandan and is Ugandan okay 
and is uh, is Ugandan. Okay, if this is true, if this return is true, remember this operation. If it returns true, then we we'll do say, for instance, consular to log. You qualify for a fifty percent discount. You qualify for fifty percent uh, discount, and we could say Ellis. Okay, Ellis. We could just say uh, you don't qualify. You don't qualify. Okay, so you can see the logic how we are handling it. So you can see how we are using this operator, the AND operator here, and you're saying is often if this is true and is also a Ugandan at the same time. So you see, we want all these situations to be true in this case. We want is often to be true and is a Ugandan to be true. And in this case, we would use, uh, we would give them 50% discount. Else, if this is not true, then you could tell them you don't qualify. Okay, so you can see you call for fifty percent. I think here you want to say you qualify. You qualify. Okay, you qualify for fifty percent discount. This is great. So you can see we are using it to make serious decisions. Okay. So you can go ahead and uh, try out uh, some scenario. For instance, if someone is a graduate and is an orphan, maybe there is something they want to give you. Okay? So let's just try to make it uh, even more complicated. Okay? So let's just say, for instance, on X and Y, remember, we have our X and Y on top here. X was 40, Y is 30. Okay, so you could do a very complex uh, operation, for instance, and you say, for instance, if x, okay, if x is greater than y, okay, we could so or go ahead and say, if this is true and x is divisible by 2, uh, So, is equal to zero. Uh, just say uh, we could consult the log here that x is greater than uh, greater than uh, y. So now, what if we wanted the value of y to put inside here? So okay, at this point, let's just say 30. We'll see how to do it. Uh, x is greater than 30, and it, it is divisible by 2. And it's divisible by 2. Divisible. And is divisible by 2. Visible by two. Okay, so now I want you to understand properly how we are handling this scenario here. Okay, so we have two conditions. So, for instance, here we are saying the first scenario is is x greater than y. So this one is going to return true or false. Okay, and then we have this and, and then we look also on the scenario on this side. And we are saying is when you divide x to 2, do you get 0 as the reminder? So if we see if this is true, okay, is the reminder of dividing x by 2 is equal to 0. If this is also true, then we could say x is greater than 30 and is divisible by 2. Okay? Errors? Or errors, we could do a console log and say uh, and say x is not divisible by two. X is 
we just say x is not divisible by 2 okay just say a simple like that so let's just see what it's going to give us uh, okay x is greater than 30 and it is divisible by 2 and you can see x is greater than if you see x is 40 y is 30 so x is greater than y so this is true but then if you divide x into 2 it gives you a 20 reminder 0 and this is also true and that's why it gave us this one okay so just try to make like x to make it 50 so just go up here and i make maybe my x to be uh, 50. so now if i make x 50 x is greater than y this is true uh, actually just yes, make it 51 because 50 is still divisible by 2 just yes, make it 51 Some, something that is not divisible by 2 okay so x is uh, 51 which is really greater than 30 okay you see that and is x so 51 is when you divide it to 2 do you get a reminder of 0 this one is going to return false and this means that if this is false if this side is true and this side is false and we are having and you know it returns false so this situation all of it is going to be false and therefore we are going to go with this one so I just see in the browser and you can see x is not divisible by 2 okay great so uh, hoping that you are getting the concept so one thing that uh, you notice is, uh, for instance, if you wanted to involve like not uh, hard coding or putting this figure here, if you wanted this figure to be picked from there, okay, we could try to uh, try to write here this one, okay. So how do we write variables within statements like these ones? How do I mix variables? within uh, statements so before we go to that one uh, to understand that one we can first do one thing uh, that we call string concatenation um, this is going to be also uh, we're going to see them when we reach on strings but since for this purpose we can actually first look into it right now let me just say here string uh, concatenation concatenation okay i uh, mean this one basically means joining joining two or more strings or two or more strings okay so if i'm um, to bring you up to speed up here we have our um, first name and last name so let me just uh cut them from up here and bring them to the working space down here okay so we have like first name which is this one last name so how do we join for instance how do we get the full name so const full name so full name would be of course uh, first name plus uh, before we go to this one let me just show you something so the first way how we do concatenation we use a plus sign okay so we we'll do first name first name plus last name okay so we simply use addition sign so in strings I, I want to make this clear it this only applies in strings I repeat uh, this string concatenation as you can hear it is string concatenation it means it applies to those things which are having numbers okay it applies to things which are having numbers so string concatenation it applies on only this one so we use a plus sign to join this uh, first, uh, first string to the second string we use this so if we console.log right now full name console.log full name 
like so if we check in the browser you see we have Muke John Baptist but there is no space if you just check uh, very well on the console there is no space now how do we add space even here you see even if you add more space like that and we go back to the browser it still has no space okay so you cannot add space in a string concatenation you cannot add space by adding more space here you add space you explicitly add space like for instance space like that so you can see that we have added space so we have first name plus space then plus last name so we see we have added the space uh, explicitly you have you have to uh, to do it explicitly and you add it there okay so now you can see there is space great so this is how you can join uh, two words together or two strings but the fact is how do we bring in for instance edge so let me just go and pick in something like this one. okay so for instance we can paste here edge uh, did I cut or copy I want to cut I guess so just uh, let me just come in a I comment out this okay so we have now edge and your first name so what we want to put on the console we would want something like this your first name is your, no we could just say your full name your full name is uh, uh, John baptist okay so we want something like this and your age is 30 and your age is 30 okay so this is something we want to put or to console on this is the message we want this is our message okay of course i would do this so let me just console.log here console.log uh, this so we could uh, put it actually in the message so let me just say const uh, message and let me paste this message uh, remember it is going to be is a string so we could do this okay and then instead of putting all this here we could put only message Okay, so console.log uh, message. So what is our message? Our message is saying your full name is Mokajan Baptist and your age is that. But now we want to get this one from full name. So you can see we have full name here. How do we inject in this variable here? So that is the most important thing. Okay? So this method we are going to see uh, to be injecting like variables within here, okay? Of course, we would use string concatenation, okay? We would use string concatenation. So the first way we would do this, your full name, we put in its own string, okay? Uh, we could do this, we put there, and then here we add this. Let me remove this and put a plus and I put full name here. Put a plus, uh, put a plus, and your age is I put in a string. I put a plus, and here I will indicate age like so. Okay, so this one will work though it will not it will not have spaces but it works because it is doing string concatenation 
is joining this, is joining it to the other one. So if we go to the uh, browser, okay, your full name is uh, Muki John Baptist and your age is that. You can see there is no space here. The good thing we had put space here, but there is no space here. Okay? This one works, but this is terrible. Okay? You have to care about the spacings you are putting, for instance, adding more space here and doing more other things. So this one can be stressful. So this is one method you can attempt to do it using this uh, concatenation of strings like that. But uh, the easy method is why we use temporal, uh, template strings. So I'm just going to say const uh, message again. Okay. So instead of using double quotes, so here we are using double quotes or single quotes, we use this one we call temporal. Uh, uh, they normally call this one as uh, uh, temporal uh, retros, template retros, or uh, retro strings. Uh, there are very many names, but they are found on the that button with a squiggly or the button before one so you see we have one two three on the keyboard so that button before one which is having something like a squiggly or having those uh, template that's why you get these quotes they are not single quotes i repeat they are not single quotes okay just try to see on your computer if you can figure out why you can find them on my la on my computer on the quarter keyboard is recorded on that button that is below escape or that is before one okay so when you put these ones now we can write inside as usual for instance we can write your full name is so if we just say you are full name is so when we reach what with a variable we use a dollar sign followed by uh, brackets and in these brackets you can put a full name for instance okay you see that your full name is and your age so we can go ahead we put and your age is so we are want to inject in uh, a variable with a dollar sign age and as simple as that so you look at that so the first step is use these temporal strings they are not single quotes okay you can see even their color is different and then write a string you want to put just like your name uh, your full name is when you want to put for instance the full name itself like this full name simply come and put it here and even if you wanted to add it from first name look at this if wanted to put a uh, first name so we could even say first name and then we put space and then we put dollar sign last name so this one we would even concatenate them. you would not even need this one as simple as that and your age is age okay so if we go now you see your full name is this one and your age is this one and it is really perfectly uh, put together okay so we are going to continue practicing this concept okay we are going to continue practicing uh, this concept okay so we are going to do one more thing and we call it a day and one thing uh, we want to look at is a prompt function so i'm just going to write here prompt function so what is a prompt function so this prompt function is a, a JavaScript uh, built-in function so what is a function in the first place a function is that piece of code that helps us to, uh, to do a particular task so there are some simple uh, JavaScript functions that are built in that we can access and do some things. And by the way, we have already seen some of the functions. For instance, the console.log, okay? So console.log is one of the JavaScript uh, functions 
that here a pass actually you can see on the console there is this, this log function the log function its purpose is actually to just display data in the console whatever you passes in okay so even the prompt function is just like that so how does it work like uh, let's just uh, see how it works so for instance if I say it uh, const okay const uh, let's say for instance what uh, const uh, which class are you in so for instance uh, class name maybe your class you say uh, prompt prompt and you would ask a question for instance which class are you in which class are you in uh, put a question mark okay as simple as that so when you do this okay when you do this this is going to be a prompt uh, it is going to ask this question or it is going to display this text that is inside in the browser in this form you see that which class are you in and it gives you where to type so it prompts a user to do something for instance to enter class so let me just say uh, s3 s3 and press enter nothing has happened but the good thing is we can actually access the fact that we put this prompt into a variable we can now access this variable so for instance i could console.log your class okay so i can console.log your class so let's just now repeat again i put senior 4 and click ok and you can see we have senior 4 here and this is very powerful at this point so we can get data from the user isn't it okay so let me just for instance where we have age that here so instead of getting 30 putting a number we could ask a user for instance how old are you so we could say prompt and we could ask the question how old are you question mark and put a space you need to put a space by the way so we could ask how old are you as simple as that and when you go to the browser they ask us a question how old are you and i say it is 30 and by the way you can see at this point the other uh, string is not yet here i say i'm 30 and you can see here your full name is mikujan office and your age is 30. okay that is great and which class i can say s5 and s5 is here now this is very powerful okay this is very powerful that means all this data that we were doing we can get it from the user okay let me first put this class off and you see how powerful this can be so for instance let's ask a user his first name so instead of hard coding and putting muke let's put a uh, prompt okay so we could prompt a user uh, prompt and we say what do we do we could say uh, what's your first name what is your first name okay as simple as that is a question mark and we could do the same on the last name here okay what is your last name okay now you see all this data we are generating it from the user so for instance he can ask a question what is your first name i could just say uh, 
name, okay? Okay. What is your last name? John Baptist. Okay. How old are you? And I could say 30. And look at that. Your full name is Mickey John Baptist. And your age is 30. So let's see what if we can change. So I could say, what is your first name? I could say, I am, uh, maybe let's say John Paul. So I could just say, I am John, first name. And the last name, I could say Paul. And how old are you? Maybe 25. Okay, and you see, your full name is John Paul, and your age is 25. So we could even go ahead and tell the user that your name is John Paul, your age is 30, and you are born in this year. Okay, so how do we calculate, for instance, the year? So we could just come down here. Okay, we could come down here and say, for instance, const born, born year. So we want to calculate the year that this person was born. So how do we calculate the year? If someone told you it is 19 years and you wanted to calculate when he was born, you would get the current year, which is 2023, right now, minus the age, and of which we have the age now. Look at that. So we already have his age, so we can just get 2023 and we subtract the age he's giving us here. And then now we can just come here, we put in our statement. We say your name is first name plus last name. Your age is age. And you were born. And you were born. You are born in born year. So we just inject in now the born year. Look at that. So we can now inject in the born year. So you say your first name is first name, and last name, and then your age is age, and you are born in born year. And this born year, we are calculating it from the age is giving us. So now you can start seeing how powerful JavaScript is. So let's just uh, refresh now. Okay, your first name is, uh, let's say, John. Okay, okay, what is your last name? Uh, Paul, and how old are you? Um, 21. And you can see your full name is John Paul, your age is 21, and you are born in 2002. Cool, this is a very big application. So, congratulations, you already have one, one, um one uh one application so far this you can even share it with your friends it is very powerful you can ask your friends you can imagine any stories you want to ask your friends you can ask them a number of questions and then you generate a story out of it so as an assignment try to think of any story that is very interesting to you uh, so you can ask the first name last name Ask them age, uh, they are maybe primary school, they are secondary school, and then try to give them a message that you have gotten from that data by combining all that data together. So this is uh, very powerful, I like it. And yeah, so you can do this and you can share it with your friends. Okay, thank you so much, it has been great. We have done a lot of stuff in this uh, uh, video uh, try to rewatch if you don't understand something play the video again play the video again and try to understand what step uh, we did and if you don't understand please comment in the description the part that you did not understand so that in the next video i start with that one thank you so much uh, make sure you have this, uh, subscribed to our channel to continue supporting and so that we can uh, continue making content, okay? Uh, this is great. And those ones who are in the group uh, will post also the video in the group and it will also be on YouTube. Thank you so much.
see you in the next uh, video